in some ways, us homesteaders do uh, still embrace technology. Hey, Jenny. How you doing this morning? We're getting a little bit of a late start, but we're going to go get the work done. It's just me and you. All the ladies is gone today. Just me and you, Skeddy. Boys day. I think the yard ducks are going to need a bigger place to live. They're kind of getting big. Well, I got the sunscreen on you. Pap's got his big broad hat on. I'm going to manufacture that shade for you. I might have to do that before we get too serious because it's bright for a muscatty man. I'm going to have to go make you a hood to keep that sun off your little face. And we're just going to work at whatever pace we can work at today, aren't we, Skat? I mean, it's a Saturday, and I sometimes feel pressured to be productive. We've got things to do, but doesn't need to be in no kind of hurry, does it? Hey, Jetty, what do you call a chicken that's staring at lettuce? A chicken sees a salad. <laughs> you don't laugh anymore than Lulu does. I stole that joke from somebody. They're all stolen. Skeddy, I can't keep my pants up. I'd like to say I was losing weight, but I'm sure that's not the case. Must be the pack pushing them down. I'd tighten my belt a little bit. Hopefully that'll keep me from struggling. You think I lost any weight? Be nice if I did, wouldn't it? I'm still not sure if I'm gonna end up cutting these off, Jetty. It does have Velcro where you can fold it up out of the way. But. It's still a little goofy. So I'm not sure. How does this even work? Maybe I should look at some directions. What do you think, Skatman? Should we have looked at directions? They've got to feed in from the back somehow, don't they? There we go. So, hey, I need to, you can't take it. Maybe I should have done this in a different order. Okay. So that one's on. Okay, dude, it's totally something. It's totally something. I think I'm just gonna cut them off. We're never gonna have you out in the rain anyway. Yeah. I think you're mostly protected. Hold it, bud. <laughs> Do you like it in there? You like it in there? That'll keep some direct sunlight off of you. Let's go get her done now, bud. Okay, now we're ready for phase two. Check the meat chickens, check the turkeys, and go on and get ready to move the cows. Then feed the pigs. Then we'll come back inside because that's probably going to be all the work that Pap and Jetty need to do for today. I don't know if you got to meet the turkeys yet there, Jetty. Were you here? Did you meet the turkeys yet? Looks like they need a little bit of feed. Change their water. I can't do that with you. They're all still kicking. I put this tarp on there to keep them a little bit warmer in this big box. So they got this chicken wire on top. They got another bed frame deal thing out there. And this tarp kind of holds that heat under that. They're doing fine this time of year. 
yeah they're not all mashed on top of each other but I'm gonna have to come back and do them a little bit later and we were getting some losses due to bad legs you can see how they hopefully that guy's just laying weird they get so big and I let my chickens go too far maybe this is finished maybe they need to be done in my you know prideful male ego desire to have bigger 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 needs to maybe get a reality check we've lost a few I thought it was the protein in the feed I've kind of been watching their feet a little differently but also giving them more space seems to have made them much happier they are much happy now maybe we don't want them to exercise too much so maybe I need to change the design a little bit but we kind of went with that Justin Rhodes idea where he has the I mean obviously we don't have that meat shawl thing that he's made yet maybe we will <laughs> that's not gonna work forever it gives them a little shade to get the shade tree this is working out for our small scale deal here but we need to be able to move it you can see how the grass is smashed there we need to move it around to smash this other grass and distribute their droppings I know from a big production standpoint it's better to have them in these chicken tractors but from a fun standpoint this is a lot more fun I wonder what Dud's chasing in there I tried to let the little guys out. Maybe they'll come around. That can be one there. She's gonna have to become a meal probably. You know, Skip, sometimes I wonder what the world's going to be like for you and your cousins with all this artificial intelligence and, and uh, virtual reality. Changing, changing world. It's advancing all the time. Now, with agriculture, agriculture's probably been on the leading edge of much of this technology of you know, using GPS and computers to drive tractors around fields and automation and the, the machines that they have available for harvest. Um, agriculture's probably been on the leading edge of that technology. But I'd say most certainly that virtual reality and artificial intelligence can't replicate the human experience. They can program these machines, they can give them supposed emotions, but they just can't replicate the human experience. And that's just something that's not going to change.
Now what do you think they'll be able to get these artificial things to do, this artificial intelligence? The question's already come up is, will the artificial intelligence have autonomy to decide whether or not to act violently towards humans? That'll be interesting. You know, one guy said, we don't really have a predator, so we created one. <laughs> is that what the case is? Is all this artificial intelligence going to outsmart us and take over? That's what all the science fiction books from back in the day said. But here's the thing. I suppose it could create... I suppose it could create an army to fight after men. I suppose it could enact violence on us. But I think it's going to need someone to sustain it, you know. Maybe it will become the top dog. But it's incredibly fragile. It would have to create its own generators, protect itself from solar flares, um, EMPs. It, it's not without flaw. And right now it doesn't even know. <laughs> it can't even respond properly to a lot of questions that it's asked. Now it'll get smarter. The more these questions are asked, and the more times the right answer is put in, it'll get smarter. But is it going to know quality of a chicken? Is it going to know the realness of grass? It certainly can't feel that breeze on its face. It's just not going to be human. And you can't live in a virtual world. And we can drive tractors from miles away in some lab somewhere we can drive a tractor on a field and that's going to be it that's already a thing either the tractor drives itself or the drones the drones fly themselves we program them and they fly themselves but it doesn't take the visual the this the auditory whatever god has instilled us with and there's the real thing i believe in god i believe in the creator and the machines just aren't gonna be like that computers just aren't gonna be like that it's kind of amazing for people in my generation and the generations that are a little bit older that uh, we're kind of seeing all the all the prophecies all the projections all the prognostications <laughs> of those generations in the 40s and 50s and 60s who worried about what's going to happen and they wrote these books like George 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 Orwell reboot they wrote these books like George Orwell's 1984 that predicted things that are happening now cameras everywhere distraction everywhere government control becoming greater and greater there will be an end time. That's why we gotta love Jesus now. Especially in homesteading, Jetty. Am I a homesteader? I guess we're kind of homesteaders. We're trying to be that we were, we were definitely homesteaders, and we're trying to get back to that now. But in this movement is to pull further and further away from that technology and and artificial intelligence and artificial food and have something real.
jet. Do you see jet in there? Do you see jet and Peppy's hat? <laughs> what a day, bud. What a day. Well, your aunt didn't listen to me. This hose is all busted to pieces. One, two, three, four holes in it for sure. Now, luckily, it only comes on for an hour ever so often, but it's leaking like a sieve. We're getting at it, girls and boys. A little bit more. Got a couple things to do, and then we're ready. Okay. 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 Let's go. Come on, Kev. Okay. 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 Okay.
Oh, that probably should have tried a different turn instead of trying to take them across this grass because now they're all going to be a bunch of problems. You see them baby calves? You see them baby calves? Okay, get on down there, bud. Make the turns, Alice. Make the turn. Come on. That all worked out. Well, see, Skinny, I got your your shade all messed up. It's bent clear back over the top. It ain't doing you a lick of good. I wonder if that was the first or the 51st time I got stuck on the fence in the crossing. I don't know. In some ways, us homesteaders do uh, still embrace technology uh, automatic doors for chicken pens and uh, electro net fencing I, I just saw that advertisement for that GPS cattle fencing and it's it's new and some people say ah, I never work it will work it will work and they will keep working at it until it does work and that'll be crazy just to be able to draw a boundary and I mean I don't know how much we still still want a perimeter fence but so we have a perimeter fence and we draw boundaries inside of our our perimeter fence and and let the gps control them and train them to cross over when we call for them that's going to be crazy and then when we some of us will embrace that technology i still want to be outside i still want to be with the chickens i still like moving the cows i want to i want to be out with the cows the reason we own cows is to be with them most of us most people like this there are some who are completely dollar minded but uh, a lot uh, the the vast majority of the people want to be with the cows we want to be out in the fields we want to see the grass growing we want to move the cows in the grass that's what we desire and that's not going to be chased away by computers or robots they can make gps fencing but I still got to look at the grass and know what's needed. They can have artificial intelligence to answer all the questions that I have and I use it. I think it's a cool tool, man. But it doesn't, it doesn't supplant the feeling that I get when I'm out here, when I'm in a tree stand, when I'm filling cow waters, when we just move I only moved about 15, but I could have just as easily moved 300 the same way. When you move a big pile of cattle into a new paddock, that's that's the coolest thing in the world for me. AI is not going to steal that away. Virtual reality can't replace that. What about the jet man? Me and the jet man. He probably got too much sun because Pappy... Uh, messed up the shade fabric but virtual reality can't replace time with my grandson Auto artificial intelligence can't recreate that bond between me and him time time and true love love between people machines will never be able to do that artificial intelligence won't be able to do love it's beyond our capacity because God is love. It comes from God. Hey, been a great morning with me and the jetty. Our feet are tired. My back is tired. He's probably tired. We're both hungry. We don't have all the chores done, but we've got to go take a break. And some of the things are just going to have to wait for a little bit until we can get our legs bounce again.